Trying to get that damn car off my freaking back tire. Slipping and sliding. Oh, having to hold back in the seat. Uh-huh. And the bumps are a little rough. That's that, but it's a beautiful road. It is, but I've been scared out of my damn mind for the past five miles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna head on back down and just reverse it and head on back. If that's all right with you. Oh, okay. I don't know where this comes out at. Just as long as I know what I'm getting into this time. Well, you know what you're getting into because we just came through it. Every now and then, especially when I'm trying to back this sucker up with her on the back of it, it weighs, the bike itself weighs 875 pounds, something like that. And I'm thinking to myself, my God, why did I get such a big old freaking bike? But then, once you actually get out on the road, this has got the best seat of any motorcycle I've ever owned, hands down, bar none, even the seat concept seat. This bike has the best freaking seat. And it's comfy, and it's big, it's roomy, you can stretch out, and it's like, yeah, I love this bike. Dang, right between my damn shoulder blades is hurting. Usually it's a sign that the handlebars are too low. I need them to be up a little higher and a little further back towards me. For this to be a big old bike, it feels like you're sitting up on top of it. The handlebars are kind of, really truly for the size of the bike and the style of riding, the handlebars are kind of low. And it kind of sets you up forward a little bit. And I've got them pretty much as high up as they can go without touching this big, front fairing it's not bad it's just not ideal I like it so much better when I don't have somebody riding behind me. I don't care if it's a motorcycle or a car or what. I just don't like people behind me. Unless I'm riding, like, I don't care if it's some a group I'm riding with or if I'm riding with friends, you know. Th that don't bother me. I'm talking about like complete strangers coming up behind me and riding up behind me. I just don't care for people riding behind me. Because I'm going to go at my pace and I'm afraid I'm going to piss them off. Because I generally just don't ride that fast. I mean, I'm easing through here 45, 50 mile an hour just down to this little lazy Sunday afternoon little back road, you know. And some of these corners are pretty damn tight. So I might slow down to 25, 30 mile an hour on some of them. 